up, gentlemen? So the inspiration for today's video is an email I got from one of our friends that said, yo, Alpha, what do I gotta do to have better hair than other dudes? And I started laughing, but then I started thinking. I'm like, actually, there are five things. So if you're ready to have better hair than your boy Brad, gentlemen, why don't you drop me one of these to tell the algorithm to suck it? My hair is gonna be awesome after this video. Also, gentlemen, if you wanna check out any of the products that I talk about, I'm gonna link and list everything down below along with a limited time discount code. So one of the things that a lot of guys overlook is the importance of nutrition when it comes to their hair, all right? There are certain foods, certain nutrients that have a dramatic impact on the health and quality of your hair. A few foods that are absolutely amazing for your hair in terms of growth, strength, shine, and incredibleness are eggs because of the vitamin D, salmon for the omega-3s, peanuts are actually amazing for your hair because of the crazy high levels of biotin, guacamole, more specifically the avocados in guacamole because of the vitamin E, not to mention the fatty acids and the increased levels of biotin. Sweet potatoes rock the hair house because of their increased level of beta carotene. Beta carotene is actually going to help your hair not be dull and dry. And oysters not only help Big Al be big and strong, they also help your hair be healthier because of the increased level of zinc. The hair hack, gentlemen, to have better hair than other dudes is to take your vitamins. Hair vitamins, all right? Here are two examples of incredible hair multivitamins, all right? Nutrafol is a great product. It's gotten a lot of press lately in terms of helping you like regrow hair naturally. All right, the downside to this is that it's $80 per month. All right, the Pete and Pedro Biotin gummies, very similar in terms of the nutritional content, but this is actually only $22, and this actually has more biotin. We have five grams of biotin in every two chews. Every day, pop two of these bad boys, chew them up. They are delicious, they are cherry flavored, and these are gonna help your hair be healthier, shinier, grow faster, and look more amazing. Second, hair hack that better hair than other dudes is to maximize your volume. The hair hack is actually to use baby powder, a little bit of baby powder in your hair. A little bit of baby powder in your hand, right, right there, and work it into your hair, all right? Down to the scalp. And the whole idea is that not only is this gonna go in and help give your hair more weightless volume, it also works as almost like a dry shampoo, making your hair look cleaner because it actually soaks up and absorbs oil. It's pretty crazy, but the baby powder works incredibly well, all right? Now, a few other tips. If you wanna elevate your hair's volume and have more volume and sexiness than other dudes, guys, is start using a sea salt as a pre-styler. So when I first heard about a sea salt spray, I was like, whatever, it's total bullshit, it doesn't work. And then I tried one and I was like, yo, are you kidding me? My hair never looked better. And if you're somebody that really wants to pump up your hair's volume, gentlemen, you could also go with a volumizing shampoo. This is a thickening and volumizing shampoo, all right? It's got biotin, but it also has rice protein. And the whole idea, if you're somebody that wants a lot of volume or you've got thin or fine hair, this is actually going to add bulk to the hair strands, making your hair thicker, giving it more thickness, more fullness, guys. This stuff is incredible. You combine this with the sea salt spray, like game over. The third hair hack to have better hair, more flowing, soft, Soft, luscious, sexy, silky, smooth, shiny hair than other dudes is actually olive oil. Think of olive oil as like a poor man's like argon oil, but the way that it works, guys, is you put some in your hand, right, and then you work it all the way through all over your hair. You basically want to saturate your hair in your head with olive oil. Your hair and your scalp with the olive oil and then chill out and hang out for about 15 minutes and then hop in the shower and wash your hair. Some of you may need to actually wash your hair twice to really remove the olive oil from your hair and your scalp, but what you're going to find is that afterwards, your hair is gonna be softer, silkier, more hydrated, but the olive oil also helps to go in and actually hydrate your scalp. Now remember how I said olive oil is kinda of like the poor man's like argon oil? Argon oil is another hack. Guys, if you want softer, silkier, shinier hair, a few drops of argon oil, right? A few drops in your hand, and then all you do is go like this and work it through your hair. You can use it as a pre-styler, but you can also put it in your hair like after you style it. Work it through your hair to add a little bit of shine. And the crazy thing about argon oil is that it soaks in and it makes your hair so incredibly soft, shiny, and sexy. Most companies that sell shampoo do offer a hydrating option, all right? They are going to be packed full of argon oil. Guys, if you're somebody that has dry hair, you want shinier, softer, sexier hair, check out a hydrating shampoo. It's crazy the difference. The fourth hair hack that better 
better hair than other dudes, gentlemen, is to use better products than other dudes are using, all right? The one thing that you can do to quickly and easily have better hair, healthier hair, is to upgrade the cheap products and use something that's higher quality. A lot of these drugstore brand hair products are super low in terms of quality. The reason why they can sell you these products for like $5 and $10 is because the ingredients are crap. If you're using a low quality hair product, guys, unfortunately, you're gonna be doing damage to your hair, making it dry making it brittle and potentially doing some long-term damage for me my hair is worth spending a little bit more money to have a higher quality product with higher quality ingredients so all of the Pete and Pedro hair products are super high quality yes they're a little bit more expensive but not crazy and the thing about these is that we've infused them with like botanicals and essential oils to make sure that not only they work incredibly well but they also are good for your hair guys I'm gonna link to all of the Pete and Pedro products down below the one that I use is the putty. This is a high hold, low shine product that is absolutely perfection, all right? The way that you use it, a little bit of putty in your palm, and then you've got to emulsify, all right? Emulsification is another hair hack that a lot of guys don't do, all right? The emulsification is heating up that hair product, all right? It's distributing it on your hands, and it's actually activating it, all right? Once you emulsify, then simply work in to your hair for amazing hair. Guys, if you're not sure what product is gonna be best for you or your hair, I'm gonna link to a custom quiz. You tell us what hairstyle, how much hold, how much shine, and Pete and Pedro will generate a recommendation for you. And guys, we also have the Bueno Hair sample set, which comes with four of our most popular products. A trial size version of the salt, the shampoo, the conditioner, and a mini size putty. Check it out, all right? It's not like a teeny amount either. It's actually a pretty good amount you get in there, all right? but if you're not ready to pull the trigger on a big size and want to try it first, this is a great option. We also sell this individually. And last but certainly not least, the fifth hair hack that's going to piss some people off that is going to help you have better hair than every other guy out there is to actually upgrade your stylist, all right? So one of the things that a lot of guys do is go to the same barber week after week after month after month after year after year. It doesn't matter what products you're using. If the haircut that you're getting is bad, your hair is never going to look the way that you want to. Now, I'm not saying that you need to run out and fire your barber, but I'm just saying that if you're not happy with your hairstyle and want to upgrade it, go and check out a stylist. Barbers are better at fading, but stylists are typically better at adding texture and cutting the top. It's funny, but if you go into your barber, look how many sets of clippers he has, and look how many sets of scissors. Typically, a barber's going to have like six sets of clippers, but only like one or two scissors. But on the flip side, a stylist typically is going to have like two or three sets of clippers and five or six sets of scissors, thinning shears, not to mention razor. Gentlemen, if you've never had a razor cut or texture put into your hair, you definitely need to upgrade because I'm telling you, it is a huge difference when you actually go in and get a proper cut as opposed to just a buzz. Now, in terms of where to find a great stylist, what I'd recommend is ask for a hair referral. If there is somebody that you know that has like super badass hair, ask them where they go. Also, women in your life, a lot of women do go to stylists that are amazing that also cut men's hair. And so if you've got a spicy senorita, maybe ask her where she goes. Go and just try it. You know, it's hair. It grows back. That's the beautiful thing. Unless you damage it or F it up, then it doesn't. And if you're ever in the Atlanta area and want to come check out my salon, I'm going to link the salon poster down below. The salon is ridiculous. The staff is amazing. The senoritas are spicy. Speaking of spicy, if you implement these five hair hacks, your hair is going to be sexy, luscious, flowing, amazingness, and much better than your boy Brad's.